The Court Shamrock, a local outreach initiative dedicated to serving the nation's most vulnerable citizens, celebrated its 25th anniversary on October 18th. According to manager of Court Shamrock, Gloria Combs, over the past two and a half decades, Court Shamrock has provided shelter, care and support to over 900 individuals. She highlighted the institution's commitment to providing a safe and nurturing environment for its residents. Today we gather to celebrate not the years, but the people, the people who not only made this initiative possible, but also the people who have sacrificed to keep this initiative alive and made it a model of what a well-run, caring outreach to our nation's most vulnerable, most vulnerable citizens. Former Mayor of San Fernando, Jared Ferreira, emphasized the importance of a human-centered approach, rejecting the notion of simply removing individuals from the street without providing adequate okay. support. He said what began as a project soon transformed into an item of love. Okay. We had to almost do a business plan to find out who these people were and what type or, or the reasons and the reasons why they were displaced. You wouldn't think you were thinking everybody mad or on drugs or whatever, and it was very different when we did the research to find out and try and find out a little bit more about who these people are and why they were displaced. According to former temporary independent senator and medical doctor, Dr. Edmund Chamley, Court Shamrock was initially two establishments, a home and a night shelter. The organization eventually received financial support from the government of $650,000 in addition to $160,000 by the Digicel Foundation. All of this was a reflection of the begging ability of our manager, Ms. Gloria. Nothing survives unless you have competent, dedicated personnel running same. Court Shamrock's 25th anniversary celebrations paid respect to the various individuals and organizations which have generously and quietly supported their foundation and in so doing keeping their charitable dreams alive. Jason John, TTT News.